Is here. Oof. Ricano debut album. Let's give him a top. I mean, it's a play on words. It's Puerto Ricano, Dominicano, Ricano. And that's what I am. You know, some people think like, no, you shouldn't be mixing things. You know, things should be honored in their individual sense. It's like, look at me. I'm literally both. I can't unmix them. So I might as well honor that, celebrate that fully, and just go with it. So I came up with this term, Puerto Ricano Dominicano, Ricano. Ricano came to me when I was at the Berkeley Global Jazz Institute. During the first week was kind of like my first big moment of ideation of this project because we had Patricia Zarate come in and she asked us, the whole group, sort of as a, an exercise for us to produce very original and meaningful projects. She asked us three questions and these were, who are you? Where do you come from? And why music? And I let those questions sort of sit in with me for about two, three months. And I arrived at this very interesting observation. You see, I, I was born in Puerto Rico, but my dad was from the Dominican Republic. My dad was a musician. So in a way, if it wasn't for my dad, I wouldn't be playing the saxophone. He used to be a saxophonist. And then going deeper into that, he came from the Dominican Republic. So if it wasn't for the Dominican Republic, I wouldn't be a musician, most likely. And I started thinking, wait, there must be some reason of like why I gravitate more towards merengue music than salsa. I was born in Puerto Rico, right? And it's because of the background, the musical background of my life was just um, jazz, smooth jazz, merengue, and just like Juan Luis Guerra classics, you know? So there was some, sort of something calling for me at the Dominican Republic. When I came to this conclusion, if it wasn't for the Dominican Republic, I probably wouldn't be a musician. So I started knocking on that door, seeing like what was there for me. And it was like, I think the universe or God or however you want to call it said you knocked on the right door because it was just, I was bombarded with amazing experiences, people, music, information on Palo, Dominican Salve, Congo, um, Sarandunga, a, a whole bunch of, of amazing rhythms and styles that, that I now had um, knowledge of. And so it started, you know, the Ricano project became this mission of me uniting my two identities, Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic into one sound, you know? And what I try to teach my students nowadays is when you base things on that, you're sort of starting from your very own journey, your own experience. And I think nobody can do you better than you. And that's what Ricano is for me. It comes so much from who I am at the core. Nobody can take that sound away from me. And that's kind of where it started. Oh, 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 oh